530. Welcome back. Whether to give veterans a bit of a break on their school taxes. Folks in the Gates Chai Lai School District were asked for their take on that, and the results of the survey will be released this week. Christian Garzon reports. The proposed school tax break for veterans in the Gates Chai Lai District. It began as a disabled veterans tax exemption, but that scope changed to include all who have served. The community weighed in, and the school board is holding a public hearing on the matter tomorrow. When we teach our children patriotism and supporting the military, and this is just another step that the residents can do and the school board can do to say, hey, we, we do teach this, we do support it, and this is what we're going to do to help support the veterans. Each of the approximately 13,440 households will pick up the tab, including the 722 veterans in the district, but the extra monthly charge is not as much as you might think. Carpenter says the cost of the community per month will be about the price of a cup of coffee, but he also knows it's likely not everyone will support his proposal. I mean, of course, we're going to get some resistance on this from some of the residents. Not everybody's going to like it, and that's fine. But for those we spoke to in Gates Chai Lai, they're all in. Well, if you go to war for your country and you do your patriotic duty, I feel like you deserve a break. Oh, they sure deserve it. They put a lot on the line for it, and some gave the utmost. I'm absolutely for it. I'm a veteran myself. Carpenter hopes this veteran's school tax break proposal will have a life in surrounding districts. I mean, we're hoping that if this gets through the Gates Child High School District and passes, we'll be able to go to the other school district and say, let's try it in your district. Carpenter says he welcomes all opinions on the veteran's school tax break tomorrow night. After all, the ability to have an open discussion is a reason Carpenter says he served in the military in the first place. Christian Garzone, News 8. The Gates Child High School Board meeting will be held from 7 to 9 tomorrow in the administrative building, and I should say that's 7 to 9 p.m. Local job seekers are